guys, um, welcome back to day five of Vlogmas. I have to make sure I've got my day straight. <laughs> I always feel like I'm saying the wrong day, like, is this day five? Um, I tried recording earlier this morning where Isaiah flipped our advent card and we read our verse and picked out our little activity for the day, but my camera died because I forgot to plug my phone up last night. Anyway, um, we are in the car and we are driving into town because the boys are going to pick out Christmas gifts for their cousins. So, my Dean in the picture, in, on Dean's side of the family, because it's so large, we always um, draw names for Christmas. So, even among us older adults, we draw names. Um, and then the cousins, because there's so many of them now, they also draw names. Um, does everybody remember whose name they got? I think I got Nathan. John, you have it on your phone. Uh, yeah, I, I do have I it on my phone. Caleb. Okay. So every kid has one cousin in mind that they are buying a gift for, and in town, which we won't say what town, <laughs> um, what is this store? It's um, like an Amazon return. Uh, it's a liquidation store. Okay. Liquidation stuff from Amazon. Anyway, the pictures that we've seen on Facebook are really nice looking stuff, and did you say that everything was like... I think, I think, I've never been there, but I think it's $7 no matter what it is. They buy it by the pound on the pallet, and they just sell it that way, too. Okay. We've never been. We just heard about things, so we're going to figure it out when we get there. Um, but hopefully we can find some good um, quality gifts for the cousins, things that they would like. Um, and if not, then we'll just keep looking somewhere else. But uh, we thought we would try this new store because we've never been, and we've heard about it. So that's what we're doing with the beginning of the day. Okay, so we just got back from the variety bin store um, that we visited and it was kind of a bust. Um, this is the end of the week. I think they said they get their trucks on Mondays. So we were really picking through just like the leftovers and there, there was a lot of stuff in there, but I don't know. It's like not really things you need, but things that maybe if you bought it, it would save you money. I don't know. Anyway, we did pick up a few things. Um, and hey babe, you want to come here? You want to help show what we got? So we found, this is exciting y'all, a pooper scooper. <laughs> this is for Charlie. So when he goes potty in the yard, like you set it up and then you squeeze this handle right here and it picks up the poo and then you can put the poo in a specific spot so we don't have dog poo all over what, our yard. Can you see what that is doing? Yeah, you can take that out so you can set that up. So that was just one thing we got because we thought, well, I don't even know. It's like a cheap brand or something, but we'll try it and see if it works. And that would be great if it did. Um, we also found some pomade, which um, sometimes I make the boys pomade and other times we just buy it. But there were two packs of these and it was $5 and it's the American Crew brand. And I think those are more expensive than $5 and we got both of them for $5. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, I did find this bag of um, stainless steel straws. So I bought that, it was $5, and they have little silicone like covers if you want people to know like what color was theirs, and it has the little cleaners that clean the straws. So it was a set of four, so this will be good for like smoothies and things like that. Yeah, so that was $5. I thought that was a pretty decent thing. Um, and then we found this card game. I've never heard of it before, Five Crowns, but it's kind of like rummy, and I thought it would be fun for us to play with the boys because a lot of the games we have are like board games, and we don't have a ton of card games, so five bucks, got that. I uh, thought I would try that. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much all we got there. Um, I guess that's kind of like one of the downsides of living in a really small town is it's hard to go and find Christmas gifts for people. Normally, like, we'll shop on Amazon or... Now, there there is a farmer's market and there are a lot of, like, artisans that come and do things like that. So, we, we have gone and done some shopping there for Christmas. But other than that, we pretty much have to go out of town to bigger stores because there aren't a lot of options here where we are. So, that's okay. I still love living in a small area. So, um, today we are going to um, flip our advent card, read our verse, and see what our activity is for the day. And then, if you see right here, there's a bag of clothes. My sister-in-law gave me um, 
some clothes that someone gave her and she knew her kids wouldn't wear them so she let me go through them and they were awesome so I took like all of them and I'll probably go through those and put those away but if I don't do that today I'll do it tomorrow perhaps so anyway um I will find the kid that's supposed to flip today's advent card and we'll get that done and then move on to our activity are you excited for yeah. our activity yeah, what we're gonna mama, do um what was the seal? um I'll have to find them. Anyway. All right, day five. Here we go. Mama can read the horses because I don't know how. <laughs> All of us don't. All of this scriptiness. Okay. Day five, Advent. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Luke 1, 31. All right, so who was saying this? The angel. The angel, angel to Mary. Okay. All right, Zay, so come here. All right. All right. What does it say? I day think five. I know what we. Mama's make excited them. about today. Oh. Because it's gonna <laughs> be something fun. <laughs> make a yule log. Make a yule log. Do you guys remember when we did that? Um, we didn't get to do it last year because we were here and it was our first year and we were trying to get settled in. But do you remember when we did that up at the house on the mountain? I we take the log think. and we decorate it with all of the greenery and stuff from outside and then we burn it later in the year and do our little releasing thing. I releasing ceremony. That, but let's do it. <laughs> you guys have forgotten, but we're going to do it this year again. So mom, we'll take the camera and we'll go pick out our log and we'll pick out all of our stuff and we'll do it, okay? Well, all right, here, will you hang this back up? No, don't eat, don't eat it. <laughs> hang it back up, okay? <laughs> So Dana's back at working on the rock. I'm making a Yule log and you're making a fireplace. Yeah. Then we're gonna burn the Yule log here. Oh, it's looking good in there. So we have got our Yule log here. <laughs> Charlie's trying to get our attention. Um, we have our U-log here, and then Judah and I went and picked all of this stuff that we're gonna use to decorate the U-log. So we've got some pine cones from a black pine, and they're they're spiky and they hurt, so you can be very careful with them. Do you think epic for a pine cone fight? Yeah, that would hurt. Um, and then I, I got some pine branches from the black pine. We also got some moss, but I don't know that this will work because it's too wet. I don't know if I'll be able to glue it on. And we got some of the grass reeds, um, the tops of the grass reeds to try to put in. Um, we got some of these little red berries. I don't remember what these are called. I don't know what this plant's called. I've got it on my little plant. Yeah, it'll tell me. We also have a hot glue gun. We have a hot glue gun because we're going to use that to glue everything down. We got some branches from a spruce tree out back and that's going to be the base of our yule log and we got some i don't know what these are some sort of wildflower oh i can get it apart dried seeds from a wildflower i thought that would be pretty and then we got these last little berries i don't know what this is either i'm really bad about knowing the plants in around our house these are like purple they're really pretty and i thought that would look nice once, against the red kind of like I a black and a red berry those? We'll see. Oh, no. I know we ate wild berries. Yeah, definitely not these berries, though. We don't eat these. Okay, so 
We picked this log because it has the usnea on it and a lot of different mosses and it's pretty. So here's my idea, guys. We'll use this piece of cardboard as the base. So we can actually set the Yule log aside because we're gonna decorate the base. Then we'll put the log on top and then we'll fill in with all of this decorative stuff, okay? And we're gonna try using the glue gun this year to see if everything will hold together and not break apart when we move it, right? Because the last Yule log that we made, we had to be very careful we couldn't move it because stuff <laughs> would fall off because I didn't glue it. Okay, so Isaiah, will you take this and set it over there on the floor? Or maybe somewhere where Charlie won't eat it. Maybe on the table over there, the counter, that'll work. And we'll start with the base. So Ezra, can you be very careful and help mama glue all of this stuff down? Ah, don't glue me. How about we put it down until we need it? Okay, so. So here is the final Yule log, and I think this is where I'm going to keep it. Um, on this table in our family room, which overlooks our patio area outside. The boys, I don't know if you can see them, they're outside jumping on the trampoline. Anyway, um, I think it looks good in here because this room has our tree and most of our Christmas decor. Um, yeah, so I think that looks good. Okay, so now that we have finished our Advent activity for the day and made our Yule Log, I am going to start dinner and I'm gonna listen to an audiobook that I'm listening to for a book club that I'm a part of. Um, it's like an online book club. Anyway, I'm gonna listen to that audiobook from Audible um, while I make dinner and let the boys play and watch TV and 
do fun stuff. Okay guys, so it's like 7.30 or 8. I actually don't even know what time it is, but it feels really late to me because it's so dark outside. I told the boys they could play their tablets for like 10 minutes. That's me being generous because they normally only get an hour, but I feel like being a nice mom today. So 10 more minutes of tablet time and then we're probably going to turn in early tonight. Um, I have some things that I need to catch up with online. Um, we just finished dinner and I've cleaned that up. And so I'm just ready for everybody to get ready for bed and call it a night early today. We have to get up early for church tomorrow. So <sighs> it's been a long day. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this um, day five of Vlogmas video and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.